Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? Pathetic. You can barely hold the thing. I ain't a musician, but even I can tell that's sloppy stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, a critic. Chill, Chumba. Ain't half bad. Guy's hurt. Got something he can't take. And it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong. Loses the tempo more than he keeps it. But not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> well, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. Saw those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff, didn't even know who we were. Ooh, mean to say I could get my hands on some old samurai bootlegs? Well, I'm gonna find those tapes. I'm gonna shriek like a little fangirl anytime you open your mouth. Happy? Just you fucking try. And jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadenza's not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Um, Johnny? Pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Hey. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team, huh? Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? So what now? Every day some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old rainbow club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp brought them out 20 years ago. <sighs> I should put up a sign. Know anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? 
He sells ancient, dusty tapes of ancient, dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Green, thanks. Hey. Been in Night City long now? Long enough to know I should not answer seemingly harmless questions. Eat, pay, and be on your way. Hey, I'm looking for some good tunes. Got any laser pop? Something from us, Cracks? Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Chill, Chum. It's just a joke. <laughs> laser pop? Fucking laser pop? Here? At my stand? I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian duelists. Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I see I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't even do. Uh, a Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corpo world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck! First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so... so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. I'm not gonna give them to the first gonk off the street. Hey, I ain't a poser. I know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Fuck this band. Not your crowd. Not your noise. Do your own thing. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. I used to, uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle near your daddy's Kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Hey, Johnny, get your digital ass out here. Feed me my lines. How about this? Fuck you, V. Ain't your stupid sidekick. Well, can't wait all day. Johnny, please, can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running out? How am I supposed to give a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy. A blind puppy. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed, wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Hang on, hang on. Now I remember. There was a fire. Ah, poor Denny. Poor Denny's hair. <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan could know something like that. Hey, anyways. Gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it.
Appreciated. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to corporals. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. The guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy to meet him? Blue Socket Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change. Them and the world. It's been 60 years. Something must have changed. Know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka, same old shit, different packaging. Well, something's changed. Maybe we can't see it, but it's changed all the same. Sure. Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants. stranger you who yeah you there any other mysterious stranger around here you know what how about i tell you a joke sure be my guest what must all trauma team medics swear to uphold the hypocritical oath okay uh, what's going on hey there stranger i'm brendan your friendly neighborhood scsm and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages, or just drop by for a chat anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? <laughs> My name is V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Nope. First time here. Wouldn't you know? I could tell you weren't from around here. What with that homesickness of yours? And you know what the best cure for homesickness is? A sweet, refreshing, lightly carbonated beverage. Okay, you got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brennan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Do you know any jokes? 
Who's always limbo champion at mercenary cookouts? The Solo! Cool. So, did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But, could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street. Depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude. Even though, technically, I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. This whole nice act of yours is just way too much. That's just how I was programmed. You think anybody'd interact with a grumpy, spontaneous, craving satisfaction machine? Exactly. Would you even be able to offend me? Come on, call me a shithead. Why would I want to do that? You just saved me. You can do it, I believe in you. Ahem. <clears throat> You, uh, you're a cool, helpful, just an all-around shape, shape kind of guy. So, how'd I do? Almost. You, uh, almost had it. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean, I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase. You coming? Fuck yeah! Yeah, 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 I got scratch! Hey, 
Contemplation is like the silence in the eye of the storm. You start to fade. You have no strong roots to this world. You are losing touch with yourself. You must purify yourself. Regain your equilibrium. I can help you. Sit down. Is this some kind of prank? Someone scrolling all this? Normally you are open to new things, but now you are afraid. Fine. What's all this about? Meditation. You mean like being Zen? Precisely. Okay, I'm listening. In the city, you are cut off from nature. Metal, concrete canyons, neon eyes. The filth of the world suffocates you. Sure isn't no Zen garden. You must become still. Restore the bond within yourself. You are the source. All which you must do is draw from it. Are you ready? I want specifics. What's in it for me? Self-fulfillment. You shall hear your voice, and only yours. All else will become silent. A little more specific than that. You cannot exile yourself from your own life. I'll give it a shot. Why not? I will give you a meditative brain dance that will liberate your consciousness. Give me? You can pay me however much you wish. Well, in that case, I'll just take it for free. You can't be doing this just for the eddies. Very well. The initial techniques of meditation are best undertaken with supervision. Let us begin. I will guide you. of the earth element spirit of nature mother earth I send you greetings we are of one blood I am you you are me oh mother earth I and all other creatures from you created cleanse my body and soul from pain sickness impurity and the negative energy from negative people worlds and dimensions give me the energy of life give me health youth wisdom knowledge strength joy happiness and inner peace we walk the earth through meadows nature in full bloom we remove our shoes Feel our bare feet touch the soil. We absorb the Earth's energy. We sense joy, tranquility, lightness, purity, our heart and soul. We walk the Earth, 
A butterfly rests on blooming flower. Bees are gathering nectar. Warmth and joy surrounds us. Our legs absorb the Earth's energy, filling every cell of our bodies. Our souls and spirits are cleansed. We thank you, Mother Earth, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you or the other elements. <laughs> Vanishing trick. What can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. Pass on the coffee. I'll uh, have a spunky monkey instead. Everyone listen up! 
This is a fucking robbery. Mr. Slick, behind the counter? Yeah, you! Shut the fuck up. Put your hands up where I can see them. The rest of you, stay where you are. And don't fucking move a muscle. If I hear so much as a peep, you'll be getting a side order of lead. We clear? While it's on the table, keep your mouth shut and nobody gets hurt. Sticking up a diner, man, that is sad. What'd you do before? Steal old ladies' purses? What part of keeping your fucking mouth shut did you not understand? How about you go first? Hand over your wallet. Nice and easy. You're giving me mixed signals here. How am I supposed to dig into my pockets if my hands are in the air? Either I'm reaching for the ceiling or for my wallet. It's one or the other. Think a sense of humor is gonna get you out of this? You know who always dies first? Funny people, like you. Wallet with Eddie's. Nah. Can't believe you've made it this far. You and your shit again? People who don't judge their competition don't last too long in the streets. I've met people like you before. They're all dead now. Know why? Because none of them could get the spec on me. Nice try. You're bluffing. You're trying to trip me up. I've danced with Maelstrom and Arasaka. You think you could so much as scratch me? You'll die before you can pull that trigger. I guarantee you. Fuck it. Let's bail. For years, nobody touches this place, and now this? Where's 6th Street when you need them? Thank God you were here. Order whatever you want. It's on the house. I'll take a drink. What can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. Take a drink. What can I get for it? shitload of beta acid stolen. What's beta acid, you might wonder? Fuck if I know. But it's worth a lot, and our client wants it back. That's where you come in. Iron at the ready. More info attached. Uh, excuse me? Oh, my bad. Kinda spaced out. Welcome to the Dew Drop Inn, where every day begins with a smile. Was supposed to meet someone here. Name's Booker Updike. Okay. Well, is he here? Oh, I don't know. I'm just filling in for my tomb BFF. She's under the knife today. Chill place you got here. Quiet. Calm. Think so? probably owe all that to 6th Street. Anyone tries to harass our guests, they keep them out good. 
Oh, shit. You ain't with the cops, are you? More the opposite. <gasps> Phew. Good. I ain't supposed to talk to cops. Anything available short notice? Uh, one sec. Uh, checking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Got one on the ground floor. That okay? Hmm. Have to think on it. Mm, sure, sure. Need anything? I'm here. Anything available short notice? I'll take it. Nova. Rooms number 106. Oh, but hold on, I gotta read you this. Do drop in cannot be held liable for damages to personal effects and guest well-being. We reserve the right to deny service by force if necessary. Please enjoy your stay. Thanks. Like I never left home. Hey, you work here? <laughs> nah, just fucking taking in the sights. Asked you nicely. Should I ask another way? All right, all right. No need getting worked up. Yeah, I work maintenance. Plumber, electrician, everything. Looking for a friend. Booker Updike. Wait a sec. That, uh, he a tall white guy? Kinda keeps to himself, yeah? Could be. Haven't seen each other in a while. What makes you say that? Well, he's been locked up in his room. Don't ever come out. Not even for coffee in the AM. But hey, customer is king, right? He wants peace and quiet. We give it to him. No questions. Right. Okay, see ya. Looking for a friend. Open up his room for me. Yo, I just said privacy's kinda our thing here. You'll come out if he wants to come out, okay? Yeah, see, I think you misheard me. Wasn't a question, wasn't a request. Um, uh, but, but... Hey, look at me, right in the eyes. Choose your next words carefully, Chumba. Might be the last choice you ever make. Oh, okay. Okay, um, come with me, but please keep it down.
sliver here. Got it? Ugh, not a looker. Might even be worse than your place. Uh huh. Suffocated, it looks like. Probably in his sleep. A peaceful death in this town? Guy won the jackpot. Gonna puke? Smell that, right? The ventilation. Hmm. Vapors from the room upstairs. Wait, wait, is that... Nah, neoamphetamine. <laughs> mean to tell me you can pin the exact drug from just a whiff? <laughs> like a police dog or what? I'd say more like a... a sommelier. Time to look upstairs. Got a feeling our Ripper's supplies up there. Somewhere close to a vent.
So, V, the beta acid's secure? Padrissimo. And I'm putting you down for ten bonus points for solving the mystery of Booker's fate. It's clean work, V. Contracts closed. Gratitude's on the way. for re-election or whatever. Your yeah, politics, am I right? Mudslinging never stops. Not for a minute. Anyhow, my client wants that site sucked into the cold vacuum of cyberspace. Scan the brief if you need more info.
rises up in the polls. Politics is fucking usual. Sorry, Johnny, but I don't have time for your little anarchist revolution. Yeah? Well, it'd be easier than slicing heads off a fucking Hydra. One more reason this city could use another nuke. Ah! Oh. 